Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm going to be giving you a review and my thoughts on the new Charlotte Tilbury palette, which is the Instant Face palette. And let's take a closer look and then I can guide you through it. So as you can see, this is an Instant Face. It contains three eyeshadows. It contains a bronzer, two cheek colors, and a highlighter. So it's a really, really big palette and you get a good amount of product for your money. As you can see, the shades are arranged in this kind of, starting from light to deep, and then you've got your swish color for your blusher, then the pop shade, the bronzer, and the highlighter. Now, this palette is suitable, obviously, for those of you with light to medium, medium tan tones. I have no doubt that there will be a darker, deeper palette coming out in shortly, I would imagine, but this is the one we've got at the moment. Colors are beautiful. I mean, if you are familiar with Charlotte Tilbury, you'll already know that the colors are exquisite and the textures of them are just beautiful. They apply really, really smoothly to the skin. They have just the right amount of color and shimmer and pigment to them to give them this really beautiful effect. The Eye Bright Color, let's just grab a random brush here. The Eye Brightener Color is completely matte and you would just put this all over the eye to brighten it. You could just use this as a one single step and then just kind of use a bit of mascara just to sort of brighten up the eye area. Or you could go in with the enhanced shade or the smoke shade. The bronzer, let's pick up a Charlotte Tilbury brush. Bronzer is really, really beautiful. It has a really nice effect to it and it contains a really subtle amount of shimmer as well. So it's not your sort of standard sort of contouring brush, but it adds a healthy amount of color to the face in a really beautiful way. This is not sponsored by the way, for all of you out there who are not sponsored. Um, blusher time. Blusher. What I tend to just prefer is to just take the two shades, but you can just pick and choose whichever ones you prefer and just whack that on. It's just one of these really quick palettes that you, if you've got a really big purse, you could just sort of whack it in there and leave it. And then finally, let's just do some of the highlight shade and just apply this onto the kind of V section here. But it's just a really pretty palette. And because the powders are really finely milled, you're not getting any drag on the skin. They're not catching on the skin. It is, you know, it's not a lie when I say that I absolutely love Charlotte Tilbury. She taught me so much and it's just, she's just a really, really lovely person. What you see is what you get. And her brand, uh, when I was working with her in training and, you know, picking up everything that I could possibly get off her, she opened up her makeup bag, right? Everything was her brand. She wasn't using anything else from anybody else. It was all hers. And this is no exception. If you are in the light to medium, medium tan tones, this is for you. Women of color, stay put because one is coming, I'm almost certain of it. And there you go, it's a wonderful palette. If you love Charlotte Tilbury the way I do, you'll know that you'll need this. Otherwise, you just kind of need it because it's bloody delicious. And I'm not a big fan of like, you know, the whole mirror thing because I don't walk around going, oh, gorgeous. But this is a gorgeous mirror. There you go, that's my review. Boom, delicious. Comment, rate, subscribe, share. And don't slag me off because it hurts my feelings. See you all soon. Bye-bye. Okay, so click there. You see this? Click my box. Now, what? how good an offer is that? That's it. Click my box. If you are suffering or have, you know when you're applying your foundation and suddenly every single hair on your face stands on end, it makes your face look, <clears throat> you know, much, no, no, really hairy and there's no need for it. Then click this box. That's, that's me and it will take you to a video where I explain how to lay down foundation so that the hair on your face lays down really, really smoothly. You know that peach kind of fuzzy hair? So it lays down smoothly and you don't end up looking like Chewbacca. Thanks so much, bye-bye.